what we had recently was that the dollar bounced off. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about it, how um, the idea was that the dollar would come down here, um, bounce around in this area before then falling further lower, right? That was like the idea that, uh, that, that I was floating around. And that's exactly what we got. We got the, the dollar bouncing off the, uh, the seasonal average uh, right over here. Right where there, you have this major strength that uh, you always have that around these areas, and then it bounced straight off of there, and now it reached the top. This is the the weekly the weekly trend, and if this holds, and this is the lower high, um, then we're we're headed down. And if we head down, then I expect that's what fuels the up in um, in equities, and that's what fuels the the up in Bitcoin, which to me is a little bit confirmed with what we're seeing. Uh, right now that the, well, maybe it's wishful thinking, but I'm seeing in the um, Bitcoin, we had this move up over here where the candle for today responded pretty strongly to, I forget what this average here is, to the seasonal average. Now the seasonal average, like it is responding here. Whereas before we didn't get a move up like this off this range, we got, it got rejected. It, um, actually here we did move up. So we have to get above, if we get above here, which is the trend, uh, 67, 67, a thousand. 66, seven. Yep. Yeah. That then, was the first one I that, mentioned. Right. Exactly. That's that to me would be like, okay, we are moving upwards, but as you know, me, I like buying right down here. So I started accumulating. Place your bets. Value. So exactly. tell me you bought before uh, today's candle then. I did. I bought at the low of the candle from uh, from yesterday. Well done. Yeah, that's exactly where it is. So my new prop firm account is in the green and as well as my, uh, <laughs> my crypto account. Who did you do that prop firm uh, account with? Uh, FTMO. FTMO. Uh, yeah. As a Canadian, I'm limited to this sort of thing. Yep. Excellent. Um, so that's what I think. And I think the, the 6,100 on uh, S&P could very well occur because I'm not really seeing anything. There's a bunch of like um, gamma here at 57, uh, this area. So if we break down over there, there is enough dealer positioning that would cause the price to dramatically fall. But barring us that happening, some sort of catalyst that makes it so that we get down to, the, to we close below the 57 level, then I see blue skies. Let's go.